Hello, welcome back to Meta Perfume. I am here with my canine companions, Twixie, Felix, chilling. Felix had a rough week. He fell off the couch, and then he was very sore. So he was crying a lot the last couple days, but I think he's feeling better today. He jumped up all on his own and ran outside without getting carried, and so he is good. Um, I have a special video today. I'm almost done with my main, well, the Pacifica series that I started. I purchased all of the fragrances that were on the site, and then they released five more fragrances. So I picked those up. Actually, my boyfriend bought them for me. Thank you, Edward. And uh, for Valentine's Day, so that was super sweet. And I am going to unbox them and give you first impressions. Um, I have two more to do in the series. There's the oh, this one, the high vibration, and my favorite, the Persian rose. And I'll do those shortly and post those very soon. In the meantime, I'm gonna open up this box and see what's going on. Um, I don't have a lot of info. I just briefly looked at the notes of these new fragrances. They all seem like kind of simple compositions. There are some vanillas. I was like, more vanillas? Jeez, let's look up. We'll see what's going on with that. But, um, yeah, so here it is. Unboxing. Pretty beautiful little paper. And uh, to give a shout out to a couple people, Paolo Bianchi for giving me so much love on the comments and watching. Like she's always like one of the first ten people who watch my videos. So thank you, hon. Appreciate it so much. And my hairdresser, I got my hair done, so I'm not gonna put on a hat today. Um, Jael, who subscribed, please see this. Thank you so much. He is fantastic. Jael of Beverly Hills. And here is the first one, the Silver Moon Vanilla Almond Spice. Mmm, smells pretty good. Let's see, we'll see. Then we have Blue Moon, which is Water Lavender Current. It's interesting. Blue Moon, maybe a little unisex one, perhaps. Flower Moon, this is definitely more feminine. Jasmine Peach Vanilla. Fabulous. Dream Moon, Patchouli, Sandalwood, and Rose, Pink Rose. Dream Moon. Oh. And lastly, the Cherry Moon. Cherry Moon. Cherry Blossom and Sugar. Interesting. Okay. So we got the moons. Let's see what else did they give me here. Oh, some underarm deodorant wipes. Pre gift. Very nice. Thank you. So I will start with the Cherry Moon. Let's start with the last one first. I'm just going to do first impressions. And then I'm going to do a singular review of each of these. Okay. So they don't have lids, similar to the this bottle packaging. No lids, which is fine. They look pretty cute. Cherry Moon. I think I'm going to spray the box, just in case I don't like it that much. You never know. Smells good right out of the bottle or right out of the sprayer. Yeah, it's very nice actually. For a cherry, I'm not always the biggest fan of cherry, so I'm actually pleasantly surprised. This smells really good. Yeah, it's pretty unique. Definitely fruity. The cherry blossom sugar and sweet, but 
in a nice way. Yeah. I like it. I definitely like it. Cherry Moon. So far so good. Good one, Pacifica. I like it. Mm-hmm. Okay. This one. Down. And then we'll go to the Dream Moon with patchouli, sandalwood, and pink rose. Packaging. Let's see. Moons. Oh, let's see if we have this yay. Speed. I'm gonna spray the box again because I don't want to get too crazy on my perfumes and then maybe I'll decide which one I want to wear for the day after I smell them all because I didn't put anything on yet. Can't smell it. Right there. Mmm. Pleasant. Mm. 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 It's interesting because it smells nice. I like it, but I don't really smell patchouli, sandalwood, or pink rose. It's one of those maybe that's like blended well enough that you get, you know, something new. Mm. But it is nice. It's pleasant. It's pretty. It's not as sweet as the Sherry Moon for sure. Not as fruity, obviously. Not fruit forward. I don't really smell the patchouli that much though. So, you know, if you're not super hot on strong patchouli, it's not, not a strong patchouli. It's very mild, subtle. I'm gonna spray it again. It's not um, a weak. It's like moderate, I'd say, in terms of the strength of it. Mm, but it's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, inhale your perfume yeah I would give this a definite thumbs up I'd say maybe it's a little bit um, less exciting to me but it is very beautiful so I will definitely be trying that out and giving it a full review shortly dream moon next let's look at the flower moon flower moon mm -hmm. jasmine peach and vanilla Vegan, cruelty free, better packaging. Good stuff. Cute. Mm. 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 Oh, that's nice. That's very peachy. I feel like. Yeah, this is like, wow. This is the most peachy peach thing I've ever smelled. Like, I've smelled, I think a lot of my fragrances have some peach note in them, but none of them smell like an actual peach. Like, this smells like a straight up peach. It's really pretty. Yeah, yeah, I would recommend this one. Good, good on the fruits. They're doing well. And I was a little worried they might be over vanilla because they have so many vanilla um, featured fragrances or featuring oh that's nice yeah flower moon also very nice and oh, serious peach I don't get as much jasmine I get a little vanilla um, but really it's all about the peach in this and it's a very realistic peach like the most realistic I think I have for sure mm, yummy yummy so if you like peach flower moon Pacifica, that's a good one. Okay, next, we'll check out the Silver Moon. Silver Moon is vanilla almond spice according to the packaging, and they say mood transformation. Vanilla is strength, almond is grounding, and spice is regenerating. Now, let's see if this is. Good. Mm. It's 
out. Cleaning themselves. Sorry. You guys. Jeez. Mm. Definitely more vanilla forward than the other ones with vanilla. I guess they have vanilla at the top of the list. Vanilla almond spice. It's subtle. Yeah, I get the almond, I get the vanilla, the spice. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, I think in terms of how unique it is, it's maybe more similar to some of their other vanilla uh, fragrances. But it's definitely its own thing. Hmm. And I'm, I'm definitely interested to check this out. It seems like... Um, yeah, it might be like a good date night fragrance. It's got kind of that subtle, the spice is pretty subtle. Yeah, it's nice. I like it. I like all of these so far. I'm very excited. I'm very excited to give them proper wearing. Silver Moon, also a thumbs up. Hmm, that's good. And lastly, my Blue Moon, which is water, lavender, and currant. Which makes me wonder if it may be more unisex for the lavender. Nothing. It says mood illuminating. Water for nature, lavender for grace, current for gratitude. Okay. Blue moon. different. It's definitely different. I get a lot of the current, I guess. Not so much lavender, though. Interesting. Yeah, it's definitely less sweet. I wouldn't say it's so unisex. I'd say it's definitely like a feminine leaning, but it is it's interesting. It's definitely the least feminine leaning, I think, of all of the five. Yeah, it's just a, it's a unique, unique set. I have to play with this one, but it, it smells nice. I mean, it's nice. It's just different. It's very different. The current is for sure, I think, for me, the most prominent. Hmm. Subtle. The lavender is subtle. It would be nice to see how this one wears. Yes, I would say I like it, first sniff, and I'm intrigued by it. Um, and, and also to see like how it goes. So yeah, I am gonna um, put all of these in their own little vids like I have for the rest and finish up the series, and then I'll post my complete video. I actually filmed the complete one a while back because I was gonna give away one of my because I did give away my orange Tuscan or blood orange one so I filmed it with all of them but it didn't have these in them so I'm gonna have to do like a part two with this as this whole set maybe maybe I mean I did this unboxing so maybe I we'll see but in any case I like these and I'm most excited right off the bat um, I'm excited about all of them I like them all generally I didn't find any that were duds like out of the bat, off the bat. But I think I am most excited about the cherry moon and the flower moon being the most fruity and to me like the most like meow, meow, <laughs> right out of the gate. So thank you for tuning in. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a like if you did and I will see you in my next one very soon. Thank you. Bye. -bye.